Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game Flickster. My name is Daniel Kin, and today I got a really cool special show for you. We are going to be taking a further look at Halo for the Xbox. Uh, it's a little old school game from 2001, but it still plays amazing, uh, even by today's standards. Um, the good part is if you own an Xbox 360, you can still play this game. Uh, you can pick it up pretty cheap for about five or six bucks online. Maybe you can check out eBay. Um, what I have here is um, kind of a dual screen. Um, before Xbox Live, the only way you can play with your friends is either on one screen split into four quadrants, or if a certain developer like Bungie, they did what's called System Link, and in System Link you, you're able to do multiple systems or consoles together and play head to head, and that way you, can, you guys can be in different rooms. And so for this particular game, uh, it was definitely ahead of its time because no other game was doing this besides PCs. And as you can see here, uh, I, I will show you how to set up a LAN party. And what's cool about setting up a LAN party is that when you go over to your friend's house, your homie's house, um, you guys can play 4 on 4, 8 on 8, up to 60 people. So that's really exciting if you're getting together for like a, a kind of a game fest or maybe a Super Bowl, something to do before or during halftime. Um, so anyways, I'm going to show you some of the particulars that you need to set this up and I hope you enjoy gaming. Now to set up a LAN party, you might need one, two, maybe all of these different things. So I'll kind of break down what you need. These are called RJ45s, also known as Ethernet cables. You can find them at any Best Buy, Radio Shack, so Staples, Office Depot, you can find them anywhere now. So these are called the Ethernet cables or RJ45s and they come in different lengths, um, 3 feet, 6 feet, 12 feet, um, you can get them in 25 feet, 50 feet up to 100 feet so depending on where you want to put your Xboxes. Um, also if you have a lot of these short cables, uh, like I said some of them are like 6 feet, um, you can extend them and what you'll need is you'll need something called a coupler, this is what a coupler looks like. A uh, coupler here comes in different sizes. I have a black one here. They also have a white one. So these two guys, what they do is they help extend a cable. If you don't have a long enough cable, you can definitely uh, extend it or elongate it by getting one of these uh, Ethernet couplers. And you know just based off the face right here that you got the right cable. And so you can take one of these shorter guys here. This is a long one. And so it goes on one end, you can take one of these short Ethernet cables and then stick it in. And the information is still the same, it's really intact, but you also get a longer cable without having to buy another cable. Um, I think they go for about five bucks, you can find them at most stores, so definitely worth the investment. Um, another thing that you might think about is if you want to do multiple Xboxes, if you're going to do a LAN party, you want to invest in one of these guys here. This is called a uh, network switch or a hub and in these hubs they come in different ports so you always have one that's called the uplink and the uplink is basically your master console where you're taking the information from so in a game like Halo you're going to have one console and that's going to be the uplink and each additional console that you add to it is going to be um, sharing the information from the main console so uh, these are definitely a good investment also if you're doing a LAN party. And uh, once again, you want to make sure that you do have the RJ45s or the Ethernet cables. And uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is for the uplink, it's going to require a different type of cable. It's not an Ethernet cable. It's called uh, a patch cable or also a crossover cable. So very important. So you, you need to have one of these guys here. This is what you call a crossover cable or a patch cable. It's uh, definitely different, so if you're not 100% sure where to find it from, you, you want to ask one of the guys over in uh, the technology area where you can get a crossover cable or a patch cable, and that'll do your job. So the patch cable goes over into the uplink right here, and each additional console does require Ethernet cable, and in this particular one, you can do up to five different consoles. So um, this is uh, pretty cheap nowadays. You can get it for about 20 bucks. Um, or you can find it at, uh, online for a better deal.